going on everyone welcome back to a new video and today i'm going to be doing my harry potter advent calendar review and so yeah, i don't have the advent calendar right now because there's so many small little knickknack things that you get but i really just like the advent calendar a lot but i just generally generally give it a 5 out of 10 i if you saw my phone call i gave it 9 out of 10 which all it needed is just more many fi more figures that you get on the box or something like that but Overall, they sleep on go 10 out of 10. It's just a neat thing. But anyway, I really like the Funko. I really I really like the Lego Harry Potter. I do, but so many flags just bummed it out of me. So basically, I don't like the um, Harry Potter Advent Calendar as much. The first year, pretty sore. Lose, just don't do good. And they should make a minifigure Advent Calendar, but they don't. So we're stuck with this, uh, so I really just generally don't like the Harry Potter Advent Calendar. It's okay, but it's not the best thing that you could get. It's it's plain, it's boring, and it's really kind of like whatever, no one cares, and it's like cool but you, that you get a lot of exclusives in this. But they should make a minifigure and give us minifigures that we haven't even gotten, new versions, new hair pieces, new colors. New versions of Harry Potter, new versions of stuff like that, but they just don't and they give us this flag. The flag curse, which I call it because you get a flag every single day, so. That is the review of the f Harry Potter, and I don't like the flags. I like the gold people that you get. I like a lot of it, but I just don't like the flags. Get rid of the flags, food, benches, and stuff like that. Totally fine. 10 out of 10. Give us more miniatures, 10 out of 10. And I hope you guys liked today's review. And please comment, subscribe to the notification bell, tell, telling me if I have been too hard on Harry Potter. And without further ado, that is it for this video. So peace out. Bye.